Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing. Today we are going to share some details about uh, how can you design beautiful pins for your Pinterest uh, account. Uh, this is very important if you want to divert traffic from your website to uh, on your website then it's very you know recommended way that you can use to design these sort of pins along with your uh, blog images so that you can easily pin that people can repin it and you can you will get their traffic. Uh, so this is a very easy way and this is a trend in now and people are using Pinterest uh, to divert traffic uh, to their website or blog. So this is, uh, you, as you can see that this is a simple featured image of my blog post, uh, but this is not pin friendly. So we need to make it a pin friendly image. What I need to do, I need to follow the standard that has been maintained by the uh, Pinterest. Uh, so uh, we need to follow that. According to the Pinterest, uh, you know, guidelines every pin should follow the standard of two by third so it need to uh, it need to be according to that side it's a square i can post it but it's it will not create impact uh, of repins because most of the people comes up with the uh, you know with the uh, they always tell that their pins they are doing pinning but uh, their pins are not repins but the thing is that if you will follow the standards of repin pinning then you will get the traffic and you will, your pins will be repins as well so what i'm going to do i'm just showing you i have created the same image in two pinning by following the pin standards here you can see that this is a complete pin that i've just designed and you can easily do this uh, by following the pinning standards it's uh, quite uh, you know uh, following the standards of two by third and the size is according to the pinning standards and you can simply design it i'm just showing you how can you design it for example if you will go and here you can create a new document here i I'm using the document size that is 736 pixels and 1137 or might be the 1140 so this is the recommended size that you can use to divide define these sort of uh, pins and orientation it will always remain you know portrait because the landscape uh, uh, mod is not supported by the pinning. So uh, uh, color mod is RGB because we are creating this image for the screen and his screen resolution is 72 PPI. So we want to go with these settings now here and you can see here is our artboard where you can start designing. I'm just taking this uh, 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 rectangular tool here. I want to sh uh, share with you uh, that you can uh, uh, start designing the pins just by using few uh, graphical softwares that you can uh, use you can use photoshop you can use adobe illustrator but if you are not aware with the gra graphics uh, and the way to design these uh, handle these sort of, uh, sort of profession software then you can also use the website pickmonkey.com and the canva.com you can also uh, or you can easily manage that and you can design by using these uh, you know services you can easily design your pins as well i'm just showing you how can you design a beautiful uh, pins for your website these pins are user friendly and uh I can easily post it uh, on my Pinterest account. So what I'm going to do, I've just created a drag a simple rectangle here, and now I'm changing the fill color to uh, black. So this is the simple color that I've choose. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just selecting it, click on it and go into the object and here you can lock this layer. Okay, so now it will not hurt you, uh, um, you know, disturb you when you will uh, work on the other layers. So now i am taking another layer and here i want to create another you know rectangle but this time the fill color would be off and the uh, stroke color i want to change the stroke color to white so it will be or might be some other color for example i'm using the light blue color and here you can you know, do one more thing you can increase the size to four so it will be more prominent in that way so you can see that how it would be looking like uh, when you did this uh it just created a simple uh, you know rectangle now you can paste the text over here for example i'm writing uh, 10 tips just keep it extended you can just play press shift and you can expand it and you can keep it here if you want to decrease the size then you can also do this from here as well for example but uh, 
time saving you could press shift and it's the you know uh, it changed the size now what i'm going to do i'm just uh, taking a different color here just the blue one and here if you want you can place this into a simple rectangular area or whatever you want to do it all depends upon you for example i'm just taking a simple uh, you know uh, button sort of a structure if you want you then you can also drag it and you can find some rounded one like this and you can place it over here keep it here like this if you will go over control x and control e and now what i'm going to do i'm changing the color to white and here you can select it and you can align it this way and place it in the middle of your pin here and now what I'm going to do 10 things 10 tips how to design simple write it here change the color like uh, how to design simple you can write your content here as per your requirement now I am writing this so increase the size like this here you can change the font as well i'm using a marilo this is the simple font that i have downloaded from thefont.com and you can place it in the middle like this and to change the color as well i want to yeah, this is a color picker here you can easily uh, you know take the color of required color that you want you can place it here and now you can convert it into outlines and below uh, uh, you can just create a simple reference of your website like my website is delinium.com so i will keep it here and turn the color and if you want you can also place a, a simple you know uh, the logo of your website along with this you can just go to place logo what you can do you just go into the file and here you can easily place it okay so i'm just uh, working on the content now so i will show you how can you here you can just change the uh, font of your website so it will be quite readable now and what you can do the next thing that you can do along with this now for example i'm using this pen tool here and i'm simply creating a illusion like this here and uh, now changing the color to it for example this one and if you want some more engagements then i'm choosing this first section and here i'm using simple uh, charcoal texture here and i'm changing the size to four so you can see how it would be look like so you can place it here simply this is all about uh, how do you want to if you want to keep it off then you can also do that if it's if, it, if you feel it seems too heavy or you know it's not looking good and here is your uh, you can also select it arrange and bring to front and now you can move it down like this and you can place it if you want you can change the color to black as well so it will be more prominent so this is a very simple way that you have seen to design uh, pins here you can change the stroke color to white so in this way it will be more prominent so you can see how it would be looking like after just doing the simple things if you want then you can decrease the size of tips here and so this is the way we have designed our pen. Now you can save it, go into save as, and here you can just, for example, I'm just substituting with this one, pins, uh, and it's a source file. So I want to place this source file here, and you can use this whole source file later to design other pins, and now I'm going to export it, uh, and for example, this one, and uh, here is the PNG version. So uh, I'm using the resolution is 72 ppi, which is uh, the standard for the screen. So you can see our pen is ready. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just showing you, for example, I'm going into my Pinterest account here. And uh, here I am showing you, for example, this one. Uh, here I want to just update this pen. Here you can write uh, the 
uh, you know the details but right now i'm just showing you so i'm not you know make sure that whenever you upload your pins then you use the keywords uh, that is uh, related to your uh, images so it will create more pinning effect to your images so this is a tip for you so if you want to follow this uh, and here you can see that the pin is available and we can easily see this so if you will choose the wrong size then it will create in this way so it will be visible when i will go here but it will not uh, you know uh, uh, create it it just created an empty impact so that's why i want to go with the you know the standard size so it will be available if you will go over the more longer size of pins then I want to avoid that because most of the time I saw that there it's clipped off on the uh, mobile version that's why I want to keep it with this with this size this is the standard one it's always visible and quite user friendly when I will go on to the mobile size so it will be visible then so here you can see that and you can see it's absolutely vector you can check the quality of the and the sharpness of the uh, images and this is very simple and easy way that you can use to design your pins for your pinterest account uh, thank you so much for watching if you have any other question then you can write it down and i will come back to you another tutorial subscribe to my channel have a great day bye bye